Okay, let's go and see the next example. If you have a NumPy with the data types, okay, so what is the data types in a NumPy? By default, Python have these data types and they have a string and then you they used to represent the text data. For example, say it will be defined within a double quote, A, B, C, D, something like that. And for integers, it can be defined between minus one, minus two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a floating point will be defined between 1.2, 42. 42.2, I have given you an example. And then the Boolean will be defined with true or false. And a complex number will be defined between, like, say, the format 1 plus 2j or 1.5 plus 2.5j with the Boolean complex. Now, these are the data types which is exactly uh, no, accepted by NumPy in Python. Now, for example, if uh, data types in a NumPy are defined i as an integer, b as a Boolean, u and an unsigned integers, f as a float, and c as a complex float, and uh, m as a time delta, m as a data, m with the bigger with the data time, and o with the objects, s bigger big letter that is string and u with the capital letter unicode string and v with the capital letter fixed sum of memories for other types like void now uh, checking the data types of an, an array how can i check that you can use an array dot d d type and this is what we want to find out what is the data types of an array okay i will show you this working Okay, NumPy array can uh, array copy versus a view. What is a copy and a view? The difference between a copy and a view of an array is that a copy is a new array and a view is just the view of the original array. So in case if you use the copy, then the, you get a new co new array. And if you say view, then you are viewing the original array. So you can you can do operations with you know, by copying your data set into an another variable and you can also still operate on under original array. The copy owns the data and any changes made to the copy will not affect the original array. So this is one advantage. If you do any changes, any operation on the copy data set, nothing changes the original. But if you use uh, a view, then it will affect the uh, original data set. But if you do make any changes on the original data array, and uh, copy also will not get affected why because copy is a separate data set array and the view uh, and the original data set array will have a different uh, array memory so therefore any changes made on the original will not affect the copy any changes on the copy will not affect the original data the view does not own the data and any changes made to the view will affect the original Arrays and any changes made to the original will affect the view. Now, how we can copy a array and uh, how we can view an array? First, I will show you an example. So, before going this, I was having an example to show you about write an example to check uh, data types of numpy array now if i uh, something put like this and then say print i'll say array dot d types so you can you can also have an immediately send to while typing now if i say click here it says in 32 it's a 32 a 32 integer okay that's no issue now if i change uh, this array i'll just make a copy of it and then i'll paste it here and then here in uh, here i'll just define 1.1 1 .1, okay and then 2.2 the and here i just put it some value called 7.5 something like this so what exactly it will say this one the second one is float 64 so it is in uh, float 64 and uh, if I uh, put another data types of, okay, say something like I will do something like this, plus one J, if I 
give something like this what happened so it's a complex 128 something just you include just one of the data set that change everything into the data set whether i need to put it within this tuple i think you can see a run it can be said yes it's a boolean so i just miss one uh, no one square bracket that is why we are getting that error fine so this is how we uh, find with the data types so